Welcome to PS Sports Talk. I'm at Got Laws along with Joel right here. We had a little party interruption for the holidays, but now we're back until the end of the season checking out the area high school sports scene. And boys basketball, Chambersburg has gotten off to a good start. The Trojans are 6-1 and one and 3-1 and one in the Mid-Penn Commonwealth heading into Friday's game at Steel High. Joel, you saw them beat Cedar Cliff tonight. What are your thoughts on the Trojans? Um, a little up and down right now. They're playing, you know, nine, ten guys, and it doesn't seem like everyone knows specifically what their role is yet. Uh, they've been explosive when they've played well, but at times they really struggle to score and rebound inside. So they're getting to the meat of their schedule, and we'll find out just how good they are. Okay. I see one very interesting game on the schedule for Saturday night. When Phantom Metal plays that change, we can. Uh, the Tigers are still unbeaten as of now. Uh, this is Tuesday night. And the Rockets are going through a tough patch where they got a, like five games in a week, and they've already started off with two losses. So it'll be a big game for both of them. I know that gym will probably be packed. Yeah, they're they're not in the same league, but the proximity makes them a little bit of rivals. And uh, Bannett Metal is led by you know three seniors in Colton Bear, Justin Bannister, and Ryan Doby, who kind of rival the big three JB had a couple years ago when they do most of the damage scoring and you know making plays and. JB will have a tough time stopping them, but uh, JB's physical enough inside to handle Bannister, and we'll see how uh, uh, Phantom Metal can deal with the pressure. Okay. Uh, girls basketball, we have two teams that are 2-0 and in the Capital Division, Shippensburg and Greencastle, and they play each other Friday night at Greencastle, and uh, Blue Devil Coach Brad Rideout said they're going to have a gold out that night. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess obviously he sees it as a big game, and you know, obviously, whoever wins is going to be, you know, have a leg up in the division. Yeah, he's getting used to his surroundings down there. They're playing a little bit better, but I still think Shippensburg would be the favorite in that one just because of some of the talent they have. But you never know. Greencastle on their coach right out's gotten better, and they beat JB on Tuesday. So hopefully they can keep it going, and Ship and them can both have a good competitive game. Okay. Uh, we also, for girls, they scored 48 points tonight. That might be almost as much as they scored in their other four or five games, so it's good to see him get off the schneid a little bit there. And Jesse Newman had a thousand career points there, so. For four, for four, for four, 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 four yeah. Okay, and I'm going to throw in a little plug for wrestling here. Uh, Waynesboro play, or wrestles at Chambersburg on Thursday. Uh, this is always a, uh, seems to be always a, a Waynesboro blowout. I, I, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell this year. Waynesboro's had some kids out that were on suspension, but if I understand correctly, they'll, they'll be back this week, so. They'll have their strong lineup, but I, I think both teams probably have the best team for, that they've had for a while. Chambersburg's 2 and Waynesburg's 0-2, but uh, it's going to probably be an upset if Chambersburg beats them. So. And if you're a coach watching this and you play Saturday, call me early because the Eagles play the Cowboys, so I won't be much <laughs> of use after 8 o'clock or so. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us. Until next week, enjoy the games.